so hello everyone today we'll be making a music player app which fetches music from your device storage we're gonna make this for android all right so let's get started i've created a new project named as audio player oh i'm really sorry for the spelling error it should happen audio player all right so let's get started first of all what we're gonna do is first of all we are gonna create a ui for our app it's gonna be a very simple and a basic ui so first import material now i'm gonna make a main method which will run our app my app all right so I'm gonna create a stateless widget known as my app which is gonna return us material app I'm gonna set the title to music player 2022 and I'm gonna remove the debug banner debug banner because I don't like it I'm gonna give it a theme of theme data dark and i'm gonna give them home of all songs now our all songs is gonna be a stateful widget because the state of our app is gonna change because of all the music we're gonna have to fetch it and that's why it's gonna be a stateful widget Alright, so let's first get our design. I'm gonna return a scaffold which is gonna have an app bar. Now, our app bar cannot be constant because we're gonna include a search icon in it. If um, search icon in it, that's why we can't name, it, name our app bar as constant. Now, our app bar is gonna have a title of you can make this an constant text as a constant because it's gonna it's not gonna change throughout our app life cycle and I'm gonna give it an action an icon button and I'm gonna return an icons dot search all right so since our search icon is gonna remain same throughout our app we can name it as a constant now our app bar is done now let's get into body so in body i'm gonna return a list view dot builder uh, because we don't know how much um, songs in our is in our device so we're gonna have it name as an list so list view dot builder so for now i'm gonna return a context and an index which is gonna return us a list style and item count for now let's say 100 so under list style we're gonna have a leading under leading we're gonna so music art for now let's just say i'm gonna show it an icon and an icon of music note for now you can label it as an constant but uh, later on when you're gonna fetch uh, we're gonna fetch music art from song you we, we can't name this as an constant so under title i'm gonna call it music number and then index so under i'm sorry so under subtitle we're gonna show and we're gonna show artist name and the duration of our song so artist name and duration all right so under trailing we're gonna show an icon more vert more horizontal. okay 
So let's run our app and see what it looks like. We're gonna, it's gonna take a while depending upon your desktop or laptop power. I'm really so sorry for my bad English. So this is what our app looks like right now. It's gonna have 100 songs because we have uh, named item count as 100. All right, so let's get started with our uh, with fetching our songs from our device. So for that we're gonna need a package named as on audio query. So for that go on to pop .dev and type on on audio query so the first uh, result that you get and it's from lucasjoniso.com so click on it and copy the copy this and add it under popspec.yaml uh, get the dependency and since we are adding a new dependency we need to restart the app or else it will not work so just I'm gonna end this process right now so our dependency is done successfully we're gonna import it import on audio query so under this I'm gonna name query Goes to, I'm gonna give it a uh, sorry Q U E R Y as it goes to new on audio query. All right, so we're gonna wrap this with a widget and it's gonna be a future builder, it's gonna return a list and the list is gonna be a type of song model. So, this song model. It comes from this audio on audio query we're not creating it so under under future we're gonna give it a query which will fetch us on our songs so on audio query dot query songs under query songs we're gonna null sort type null order type or a type dot something a smaller you are a type we're gonna type dot external and ignore case echo we're gonna give it true all right so I'm just gonna copy this right now and I'm gonna so for future builder we need a builder which is gonna consist of an context and an icon which is gonna return us so under this if I'm gonna just name it in items right so if item the data is equals to is equals to null we're gonna show oh we're gonna return a circular oh sorry circular progress indicator on the middle of the screen it will uh, and if item dot data is empty we're gonna return a text view which is gonna say no songs Found. it's gonna be wrapped up in a center so if 
if this both case does not match then we're gonna return this all right so under the music number title we're gonna set it to item dot data dot index dot display name without extension since we it's null safety we're gonna have to add an exclamation sign here under this artist name and this we're gonna set to item dot data index slash artist name artist all right so we're gonna have to include the duration too for now let's just say you can do this or you can just type cast into a string using exclamation using double exclamation sign I'm gonna do it with double exclamation sign so constant you can add it a constant if you do you can add a constant here for now let's just add constant here too now let's run our app and see if it's working or not The video is already 12 minutes long. Oh my god. <laughs> and once again, guys, I'm really sorry for my English. Alright. Oh. I'm really sorry, but we're gonna have to add some dependencies. This. Without this, you cannot run the, uh, run the app because on Android, you need to have permission to read the files so if you're gonna yeah, request for permission you're gonna have to go to android file app src main android manifested xml and just paste those two lines here save it close it and you're gonna need to do another thing uh, where is it where is it where is it you're gonna have to do another thing yeah uh, Kotlin version you're gonna need to import have the latest Kotlin version alright so I'm gonna just check what's the latest version of Kotlin latest Kotlin version and it's 1.5.16 I guess I'm not really sure 1.6.10 just go in build.gradle and change it to 1.6.10 one zero save it close it close it and run our app again let's just hope we won't we don't run into any more problems So if you guys like this video then uh, if you guys like to know how to play those music right now play those music uh, you can comment down below because this video is already long enough and I don't want to create it much longer so if you guys are interested on how to play these music that are sync from device stories then you can comment down below alright and then I'll create a new video.
telling you guys how to run the how to play the music so so guys l since this emulator does not this uh, emulator does not have any music stored in it we are so no music found so I'm just gonna download some music right gonna download a sample music it's converting right now and don't know how much time it's gonna take so let's download this all right So music is downloaded oh I'm really sorry for one thing we're gonna have to ask for permission so for permission you're gonna need another query known as permission handler yeah, another package sorry so under permission handler go into this copy these copy this paste that dependency on perfect.yaml save it click on pop dev so we're gonna request permission upon the uh, uh, what is it upon the boot up of an app so we're gonna request for permission when the user clicks on the app so for that first let's import permission handler all right so i'm gonna create an init state and i'm gonna request permission all right so void request permission just gonna see these under this I'm gonna per mission dot and dot not suing me permission dot I don't know why it's not suing me I'm really sorry for this Just gonna copy it. Oh, we have not added storage dot so this. And I'm gonna create a new variable poly status. So for for now, just let's do this. All right. So run our app again. The video is already 20 minutes long. I'm really sorry for that. I ran into some problems. This is my first video, so. I'm really nervous too. <laughs> it's saying a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of errors. So, 
Hello? What's happening right now? Music player, audio player. Oh, I'm. A I don't know if it was a bug or something. So I, we have not updated our item count. Our item count is gonna be item the data dot length, and it's gonna have a null. Null check. So let's run our app again. I don't know why it was not showing songs. But upon restarting it, it is showing our songs again. Alright, you can see these are the songs that we have uh, we have in our device. So this is a, a basic of how to fetch songs from the device stories if you would like to know how to play these songs you can comment down below and thank you